Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road and Vlogus Day 18. We had a huge birthday party today and I wanted to tell you about my three takeaways from that party. Number one, it's really easy to get sucked into all of the drama and stress that goes along with a party, but it's way better if you don't. This is the true story of what it's like when you insist on having over-the-top birthday parties for your kids, and you have no idea why. Always seems like a good idea, until the day of. This is a look behind the excitement of birthday parties. What is in the dark underbelly of children's birthday parties? Mom's stress, that's what. We are celebrating Robbie and Emerson's birthday today. We've got quite the event planned. We've got a, an Iron Man theme and a Wonder Woman theme, water slide, a slip and slide, a pool, a taco bar, cakes, gift bags, and anxiety. We have anxiety. Oh my God, Kenny hasn't mowed the grass. Look at this grass. Kenny hasn't mowed the grass. Can't have a party with the grass looking like this. Ugh, it's fine, Kenny. Kenny. What? Why didn't you mow the grass? Because I have a flat tire. But we can't have a party with the grass not mowed. Right, but I can't mow the grass with a flat tire. Don't we have a push mower? You're crazy. Seriously, you push the mower. It's like this big compared to that. Don't you worry about it. I'll mow the lawn. Just let me go drink another cup of coffee. Uh, no. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to buy several cans of Run Flat and pick up the cakes. Yes, let's go. All right. So I was being funny earlier about all of the anxiety around hosting an event at your house, a kid's birthday party, a holiday, whatever. But that's real, isn't it? Like... You get worked up about stuff, you get worried about silly things, then you lose focus on what you're supposed to be doing and you're not engaged in what's actually happening. Even today, I mean, there were a zillion people I wanted to talk to that I didn't get a chance to talk to. Friends, parents of the kids' friends, like all kinds of people that I wish I would have spent more time with and just didn't have the time to but at least it was because I was talking to everyone else and making sure food was ready and not because I was anxious that somebody wasn't having a good time or that someone would think something wasn't good enough. Happy birthday to you. Oh no, it's gonna be tough, Robbie. Come on, one. Then you do it. Oh, yeah! Happy birthday, dear Emerson. Happy birthday to you. I wish I would have recorded more of that birthday party for you. There were even comments that it was the best birthday party ever. There was a water slide. There were cakes, amazing cakes. Did you tell what it was? No. Oh, she went to that. Well, Put that plate back. Yeah. Gift bags gift bags inclusive of this Wonder Woman crown and for boys Iron Man Lego figures. I mean don't get me wrong I did all of that stuff because I love doing it and it's fun and the kids love it but it was also important that Kenny and I were engaged in what was happening at our kids birthday versus making a video. But more importantly the kids had a great time. They had so much fun and they're gonna go to bed super early. Oh my goodness, it is a mud pit down there right now. But the rental company is cleaning it up. <laughs> I would be much more upset if I was cleaning it up. Not gonna do it. We're also really fortunate to have the kind of friends who will show up and say, hey, what can I do? Not you know, look at you with the side eye, like, why isn't this done? Or why isn't that done? Nope, they're just the kind of people who show up and say, 
super excited to see you. Thanks for inviting us. Thanks for thinking of our kids. What can I do to help? I also happen to have a mother-in-law that brought tons of food for the chickens too. Mm -hmm. So the chickens are happy. Hugh, what are you doing? We told the kids to throw the paper plates in here when they were done. I think we better get this burned before the dogs eat them. Number two, there are really some stereotypes that go along with sustainable living and raising your own food. Like everybody that does that has a farm and their property smells like a farm and they're weird hippies. A couple people said to me today, man, I thought it would smell like animals here. We had some family in town from across the country that hadn't been here in a while. We had some people that hadn't really been here before. And when they realized that we had so many goats and so many chickens, they assumed it would smell like, you know, a farm. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like a farm at all here. Nope, not at all. Our chickens have tons of space, so there's no like, chicken house smell. You've driven by a chicken house, right? They do, they smell, they reek, because there are so many chickens in such a small amount of space. It's disgusting. And goats, well goats don't really smell, not really. I mean the bucks get a little stinky during rut, but that's also only if you get like right up next to them. I did also learn today that Kenny has maybe spent a lot of time telling people I smell like a goat. Yeah. I don't, I don't, um, I don't smell like a goat. Occasionally I will take care of a buck and then come inside and maybe my clothes have a little bit of a bucky odor, but calm down, I don't smell like a goat. I don't smell like a goat, Kenny. No, I don't. Another super cool thing that happened today was kids got to hold chickens. Yeah, meat chickens. Kids got to see like where food comes from. Awesome. And not that those kids don't know, but there's a big difference between knowing where your food comes from and holding a chicken that, hey, maybe in a couple weeks you're gonna come over and eat for dinner. Kind of a cool experience. Number three, and maybe most importantly, we are raising great kids. Really just amazing kids. Robbie and Emerson worked really hard this morning to make sure things were nice for the party. Robbie helped to rake up mowed grass. He cleaned dog poop out of the yard. I told him at one point, like, hey, you can go get your bathing suit on. It's, you know, your friends are starting to arrive. And he said, no, I really wanna help dad make sure that everything's nice. And he said to Kenny at one point, thank you for doing all of this for my birthday party. And not that we do it for thanks, but it's nice to know we're raising kids that recognize when somebody puts in a lot of effort for something just for them. Emerson worked hard too. She can't do all of the same things that Robbie does because she's seven and like two feet shorter than him, but she definitely helped to clean up a lot. She helped to get a lot of food ready for the party and she was certainly an excellent hostess. Robbie still has a couple of friends here. They are in the basement playing video games. And honestly, I need to go look for Bridget and Emerson. They may be asleep somewhere. They might be. Although I just heard screaming. That could be one of them. As for a couple updates, first, we're way behind on answering comments with all the videos that we've put out and the meat birds arriving and everything else under the sun. Um, but we have read absolutely every single one of them and I love everyone's comments. I really do. Great ideas about the stump in our future garden. Um, great feedback on the chickens and I super, super, super appreciate everybody that takes time to write us a comment. I really do. My knee. My knee. Let's talk about my knee. I am crutchless. Yes. I'm okay without the crutches. The brace is helping. I'm definitely improving. Just a really bad sprain. Getting better every day. Probably overdid it today, but you know, what are you gonna do? Kids' birthdays. I'm gonna clean up, relax a bit, ice the knee, and um, yeah, things are getting better. But as many of you have suggested, I'm taking care of the knee and not worrying about the small stuff in the meantime. Not that I am particularly prone to worrying about the small stuff to begin with. I don't do that. 
We hope you had a great weekend just like we did. Patronize your local businesses. Teach your kids to do hard work and be thankful when people do nice things for them, right? Mm-hmm. Mwah. And tomorrow we have to start getting ready for the fair. <coughs> what fair? The, the fair. We're going to show the goats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boop, boop. I got a bunch of stuff for my birthday, and I want to show you guys that I'm what I'm wearing. It's a Jasmine costume. Don't forget to subscribe and see more cute videos of me. <laughs> I only told her to say don't forget to subscribe. She inserted the rest herself. So you best listen if you want to see more cute videos of Emerson. Right? Yep. Yep. Bye! Because sometimes I'm in um... <laughs> say bye. Bye.